Hello, welcome. Take a moment, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so this problem is, uh, for me, a function transformations problem. And you might um, use a graphing calculator on this, but I think we can explain it fairly quickly using transformations. Uh, and also, I guess, looking at uh, the algebra here. So uh, we're told that the we're asked to find uh, which of these two functions, h of x or f of x, has a larger um, x-intercept, right? the point that crosses the x-axis. So for the logarithm function, if we just look at a quick decimalist graph here, um, if I have my parent function as the log of x, that's what we're looking at here. Oops. And then I say, okay, we'll take that function, make it the same, g of x equals the log of x, and, and subtract some amount, let's call it c. So here, if I, if I make c 0, there's no movement. But if I subtract 1, notice that the log function here moved once to the right. And the more you subtract, the more you move to the right. right? So here, if I subtract 3, I can see that, oh, it's moved over the x-intercept to that 4, and if I subtract 4, as I do in this problem, I can see that the x-intercept is at 5. And we'll make sense of that in a moment, but we look at these two x-intercepts here. I'm going to take a screenshot. All right, that's the x-intercept of that function. And if we go back to the notebook program here, paste that in. Okay, we'll reduce the size of this, and we're, we're going to talk about this, why this makes perfect sense. Okay, so for all functions, first of all, we'll say it one way first. If you subtract from the input, you're going, if you subtract a positive amount from the input, you're going to move to the right. If you add, you can, might guess you go to the left. So if this is x plus 4, this x-intercept would move to the left 4 over here to negative 3, right? But we're moving to the right. Now that happens for all functions. That's one way to understand what's going on. When you subtract from the input, you move to the right that amount, right? We'll call this thing C. So that's one way to look at this thing. And I'm just saying, you could then recognize, all right, well, everything's going to move to the right by 4. So it's going to move right by C, which is 4. And then you might remember that the way logarithms work, the reason it's going to, the parent function crosses this right here it has to do with the way logarithms are written and what they represent. The log of x, right, equals, we call it f of x. What this is saying is this is where the base is 10. This is the, the common logarithm. So this implied base down here is 10. So saying 10 to the f of x, right, or y, 10 to the y equals x. That's what it means. So here, if we take this number 1 as x and 0 as f of x, it's saying literally 10 to the 0 power equals x or 1. And that's true. 10 to the 0 is 1. So with that being said, we can look at this point then and say, well, okay, first of all, the x-intercept here is at 1, 0. So it's going to move to the right 4 to 5, 0. And you know that from the way we understand our parent function. You could also show this algebraically. So when I say justify your answer, I might show it this way. I might say, okay, well, in this case, it's going to cross at 5, 0 because if we have the log of x minus 4. We want to know when it's going to equal 0, right? When the height's 0. Um, and we could say that it's when 10 to the 0, right? It means this base to this exponent equals x minus 4. This is what you're solving. Now 10 to the 0 is, sorry, 10 to the 0 is just 1. So this is when 1 equals x minus 4, and we add 4 to both sides and x equals 5. So you can solve it algebraically, and that's supported by the transformations here. Um, trying to look at examples where students have explained. Um, I think, uh, just so you know, you can get full credit here if you sketched a graph of this and showed the x-intercept is at 5, 0, and then you could just say, well, this is the bigger x-intercept because the x-intercept here, let's look at h of x, is at 2, 0. And you could just, as long as you state that the, the x-intercept of f, f of x is larger because it is 5, and h of x's intercept is at 2, I think you would get full credit. 
you certainly will get full credit showing the algebra like this, and you certainly will get full credit if you explain how it's transformed and show the correct intercept here. I have even seen examples of students getting full credit um, when they just sketch the graph, label the point, and say, look, this x-intercept is larger than this one here. You can't just get full credit, though, by saying that the x-intercept of f of x is larger than h of x, so that's the answer. You have to say at least what that x-intercept is and either show up with an accurate graph or some kind of algebra. All right, I hope that helped.